Hey everyone, welcome to series 23 of the festival playlist of Autumn. As usually, I'm gonna show you the Forzaton and also the cars that I've been using for the championships. Now, I have a little delay because there was a championship here, the family car. Um, the second race was the little circuit one. I had a little problems with some cars, so I tuned like five cars to actually find a decent one. So that's why the video is a little bit delayed. So let's have a look. There's still wheel spins, super wheel spins, 90,000 credits, 50,000 credits. So I'm still not sure when the update will come, <coughs> hopefully soon. But let's go over the Forzaton. Now the Forzaton shop um, has been changing every day. So you need to keep an eye on the Forzaton shop. It's not that there are like new cars, but if you don't have a car and you have the points, you definitely can buy it or the outfits, doesn't matter. Now let's have a look at the Forzaton. We need a 2013 Ford Shelby GT500. We need to win three drag strip events, a 1 million skill score, and we need to win a road racing series. Now let's have a look. I am already in the 2013 Shelby GT500. Now the drag is not that hard. Basically, you just go. The car is tuned for drag anyway. Um, but also a little bit for handling. So you just go to the festival here and take the the short one. You can easily win with this car. Um, so just do that three times. Now for the million skill points, don't forget to put your car mastery on it. Um, it will go to the mul multiplier five. It's combined, so you don't need to do it in one time. But don't forget to put uh, perks on. Where do I do that? I always do that on the same place. And that's here at the Greendale airstrip. I just hit the fences, I drift a little bit. I just make this route here that I always do, that everything comes back. And just have fun with the car. Um, and you will get easily the million. Then the last one, we need to win a road racing series event, but that's at Lakehurst Forced Sprint. Now, where is that? That is basically here. I'm already there. Now, of course, I have a blueprint for that. I'll show you the code for that. If you do not follow me, you can always type in the codes. If you follow me, you should be able to find it. But this is the code if you want to do this. It's just driving straight since you're in a drag. It doesn't take long, like two seconds or something. There you go. So that's for the Fortaton, it was pretty easy. Now let's go over the championships. I'll go on the map, that's easier. I'll put the filter off, there you go. Here we need an A800 Modern Muscle Cross Country Series. Now what car should you take for that Modern Muscles? Uh, let's have a look. So the Modern Muscle. Mother and muscle, there it is. There you go. Now you see the several cars that you can actually use. Uh, well, that I have. Now the car that I took for this one is. There uh, we go. Actually, the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. It actually did very well. Um, nobody could follow me in a trial. The car is, is very good for that. It's fast, it's grippy. Um, it can handle very well. Even as cross country, it still works very good. So this is the car that I used for that and had no problems winning the trial with it. And once again, please people, if you go into the trial, have a tuned car and also do not ram your teammates out. It's a team event, so don't ram team players out. I got rammed out, that's why I say it. Now then let's go to the Playgrounds, A800, Vans and Utility. Now, what can you take for that? I'm telling you, I'm not the specialist in uh, Playgrounds. I just play it once or twice to help people out, but that's it. Now, basically, the car that I took is this one. The 2014 HV. There are several other cars you can take. Um... But I like this car because it's grippy and it's fast, uh, it's handling good. Now this is a, a car that we could win, you can't buy it in the shop. I'm pretty sure people will use it if you have it. Um, but I'm not 
I suggest it also for the people that have it because it's it's small and it's fast also. But if you don't have this car, you can always take this car. Now let's have a look at the other ones. Here we have Horizon Decades from the year 60s. So we need a C600 and it's just a car from the 60s. So if we go to the filters, the years, and then you have the 60s. Now it is C-Class, so you, you have a few options, but the car that I took for this one is actually, where is it? It's very far. It's actually this one, the 1964 Chevrolet Impala. It's a massive big boat, but I could easily win. I don't know with that championship, but I couldn't. The dramatized just stayed behind as far. But basically, I think in this championship, it really doesn't matter what car you take. You can basically take any car and just win the, win the championship. But I took the Impala, this one. It was fun driving a boat, looks cool. Then let's go to the other one uh, Vintage Pastime. We need Vintage Races B700. Now, that's of course an expensive category. Um, I'll show you the Vintage Races. Now, if you do not have the money, go into a convoy and you don't need the car then. Because basically it all are 10 million cars. Also, there's a barn find, this one. So you can also use either the Alpha, the P3. Uh, but I use the Bugatti type. 35 because I always like that car. It's fast. It's good um, So I took this car, but you ha do have the barn finds if you do not have the money or the barn finds yet If you are new to the game Just get into a convoy that the leader has a car and then you can just borrow it Then let's go to the last championship a family car frenzy now This is one of the reasons I actually had problems and had a delay on it we need A800 Super Saloons. Now you would say, Val, that's easy, man. You've been playing this game for more than two years. You have the cars tuned and all. But for some reason, the championship was really weird. Um, I'll show you why. So we have, for example, the little one here. The first one, I can't remember what the first one was, but this was the second one. I actually had problems the first two laps to catch up with the Dravatars. The third lap, I won, but it was not easy. Then also you have this one. That's also okay. Then I tried to start. I actually uh, start tuning cars. I also had cars. Uh, let me see. What do we need for that? Uh, super saloons, right? There you go. So you have. Well, in the other show you have more choice. Um, M2 always been a good car. The Q50, also a good car. Um, these are cars that you win, so I don't know if everybody have them. I also tried this one. I tried this one. Uh, basically, none of the cars really did the trick. So I actually took the 2015 Audi RS6 Avant. And I had a complete no problems anymore with that championship. So basically, I tested all these cars. Um, well, one, two, three, four. Five cars for the only for the second race. And this one came out the best of all cars. So I really advise to take that car. Okay, well, we win 90,000 credits, so it's, I can't show that. Now, let's go over to the PR stunts. PR stunts were not hard to do. Uh, there you go. So let's go to this one, for example. Where can you start? Um, basically, if you start here, you have the corners. When you come out of the corners, you can go full throttle, as you can see. You can also come full throttle here, but then you need to brake very, very hard. And I do not advise that. So basically, start from the roundabouts. The car that I take for this is the Ferrari. If you don't have the Ferrari... Um, take the muzzler so basically uh, this one you can take it's similar to the Ferrari the Ferrari has just uh, a little bit more top speeds 
uh, I just took this one, the Ferrari 509 Evolution. So for me the best thing to start with is from the roundabout because you don't go full speed into the corner. You just drive here, be careful with the corners and then basically you can go full speed. There you go. That's for this one. Now let's go to the other one. Here we have the jump. Well, if you want to have a record, you need to start from here. But you can also start here or even here. I'll start from in the corner, for example. The Ferrari has dirt tires, so it has a stiff suspension. But it's still okay. It accelerates extreme hard, so as you can see. But you don't need to go that far since the Ferrari is extremely fast. If you use the muzzler, you have the the aerodynamics from the sporer on the back that you can land it on the nose if you want to make records or anything. But just use this, it's very easy to do. So once again, you do not need to start here. You can basically also just start here, take the corner normal and then just go full throttle. Then here you can go, well, I did it from both sides. So it depends on what side you like. Uh, for example, you see that this corner looks a little bit sharper than this one. Now the thing is, I hit several times traffic, so I'm probably gonna have I don't know, I have a lot of traffic uh, today. So this goes uphill. Just look what corner uh, looks most easy for you. This was not uh, fast enough, I think. But here you can see you have also this corner. You can start. This basically is what you prefer, what corner you like to actually start with. But you can do it from uh, both sides if you don't have traffic as you can see traffic is really annoying here i don't know what but it's i had massive traffic so just what i watch out for the traffic and you will be okay just take the car that handles very good um i always take the ferrari or the muzzler so that's basically it now, that's everything. I hope the cards that I advise you will be good and will help you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tonight because uh, the new PlayStation 5 is going to be out and they're going to live stream it and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe later. I don't know. Um, I'm already delayed. I still need to have dinner and all. So if I'll stream, it will be on Twitch as usually. Um, if I don't stream, I'll stream maybe on Friday to help you out with the championships. Okay, that's it. Hopefully we get a new update and we're done with these wheel spins and all that stuff. And we get, uh, well, cars that the people need, especially the new people. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good night and I will see you later. Bye bye.